Before we start this lesson, um, you'll need to be able to explain all of this. If I give you a piece of the information, can you describe the rest? So for example, a, a person pushes on a wall, 4 newtons of force, what's the reaction? So if I give you on the test, can you fill out all the information you need? If you're not sure what to put, lesson 19 is for you. The answer is the wall pushes back on the person with 40 newtons of force to the right. So you need the direction, the value, and the description. Person pushes on wall, reaction, wall pushes on person. For today, we're going to uh, be solving for the normal force when there are multiple interacting objects, and solve for the normal force when force is being added or subtracted, but not enough to lift the object. First thing, fourth period, we've done this part, so you can kind of fast forward to example number one. First and second, um, the titles, this is page 33, there's your title. And a definition, the opening is a normal force, so pause the video. Now here's a, I want you to record some observations and write a prediction about what you think has happened. Hold on a second, let me get it set up. Alright, let's observe what's happening. There's a movie on a scale. Write down all your observations. Just what you see happening. What's happening? That mass should be 130, 150, point 0.4, whatever. 180 point, so that you can't see the decimal. It's not. Now it's going higher. Mass is increasing. All right, so what did you observe record? The mass, the scale, the reading on the scale was going up and then going down. I want you to predict why. And here's, here's what was happening. All right, so during the first part, there was a, um, a string wrapped around the rest of the movie that you couldn't see. And I was pulling up on that string but not enough to lift it off the scale, or even to make it move. But it was enough for the scale to think that it was getting lighter, because I was reducing the force of gravity, because I was applying enough force for it to feel lighter, but not enough for it to move. And then I just pushed down with my finger to make it feel heavier, and the reading on the scale increased. What's important to realize is that a scale, in addition to reading force gravity, also reads the normal force. Because as long as the object is stationary and not moving, the force felt from gravity is counteracted by the normal force. This is why we're in static equilibrium, or not moving. So as we watch this, see if I can get it to work. So as we watch this, the scale's reading gravity, but the normal force is also getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And then as I push back down on it, the normal force is getting stronger and stronger and stronger to counteract the changing gravity. So a scale technically reads the normal force and the applied force from gravity. So here's sample question number one. How to solve for the normal force on a flat surface? Well we know it's an equilibrium, so we know forces are balanced. So that means the table must be pushing up with an equal force. I can find force gravity or weight by mass times the acceleration due to gravity, 9.8 times 3 equals 29.4. Oh, and if it's an equilibrium, that means the normal force is also 29.4. 
29.4. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, even if an object's just sitting there. It's constantly applying a force, so the reaction is constantly um, applying back in order to keep it in equilibrium. So, let's try this. Solve for all the action-reaction pairs in the given scenario. Here's your list. We have one force, we'll call this A, B, and table. Force A on B, that's one, and then the reaction. And then number two is force A, B on table. See if you can solve them, and then here's your answers. Pause the video. The answer, A on B, FG equals MG, 2 times 9.8, that's 19.6. So that means the reaction force, the normal force from B on A is also 19.6 newtons. For both of them on the table, we have FG equals 5 times 9.8 equals 49 newtons. So that means the reaction normal force from the table on A and B, F table on A and B, also have to be 49 newtons. And if we stacked something else, there'd be a little one here, a medium one here, and a big one there. Anytime there's objects interacting, we have Action reaction pairs, Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Okay, example number two. Solve for the normal force if pushing down with three newtons of force or pulling up with three newtons of force. So either I'm going to push on the textbook with my hand, that's a hand, pushing down, or maybe I'm going to tie a string to it and lift up a little bit. That's another hand, <laughs> pulling up on a string. Let's look at each one. Pushing down with three newtons of force. So we have force gravity, mass times 9.8, 6 times 9.8, which is, I don't know this one, 6 times 9.8, 58.8. which means the normal force would be 58.8 also, but I'm also pushing down with another three newtons. So if I add three newtons here, the table thinks it's getting heavier. It's, they think it's 61.8 newtons. So that means in order to keep it in equilibrium, the actual normal force is now, when I'm pushing, 61.8 newtons. Now the opposite is true if I'm lifting up. Normally it's 58.8, but I'm lifting up a little bit, which makes it feel lighter, makes it feel like it's only 52.8 which means the reaction force, if I'm pulling up, would be 52.8 newtons. So the table thinks it's lighter when I'm pulling up, or heavier if I'm adding force to it and making it feel heavy. Okay, that's it. The assignment is on the third law page of Coach V's website. There are some practice problems with the answers for both. The pra these, this work will be done. It's all pretty straight up math. Um, just a little multiplication. And it's all going to be done on page 32.